Okay, it's a pretty crappy, trashy Indiana March freaking Sunday. And getting ready to take the truck. Well, getting ready to take my Mega Cab, my 2014 um, Mega Cab to Firewire LED shop. I haven't showed much of this on the channel, I know. So here's where that begins. 2014, 102,000 miles, pretty much stock. <clears throat> it's very clean, and I'm really trying to keep it that way. I love this truck. So what we're gonna do is, um, there's a guy, Daily's Detailing. Hopefully I'm getting that right. If I don't, I'll fix it. Only met him a couple times, but he works out of Firewire's uh, shop in Mooresville, Indiana, okay? And uh, we're gonna get this thing completely cleaned up completely uh, paint corrected, ceramic coated, all the good stuff. Uh, and I think I'm gonna ask him about taking off these badges too. Um, we'll see. Want this thing to look really good for race season, just in general. Getting ready to start it up so I can make the short trek. Also, thinking about doing a video on this thing. It's brand new, just, I got it back in Thanksgiving for this year. Haven't, uh, you know, really talked about it. I'm super pumped about it, of course. It's awesome. Um, can't wait to use it. So we'll see about that. Pulling up now to Firewire Shop. Um, once this thing's done, I will, uh, hopefully I'll remember to do like a walk around and just see what it looks like afterwards. I'm real excited. So this is gonna be pretty cool. Okay, it's been about a week since the uh, last clip you probably just saw. And um, it's now a beautiful Sunday. Um, I think it's going to be like 60 today, finally. Finally going to get some time to come outside and do stuff, get some stuff done. I'm going to show you the outcome of uh, getting the silver truck mid cab detailed. Right now I'm jump starting the red truck. It's got, it's got some kind of a parasitic draw or something. I got to figure that out. It uh, sits more than five or six days, it dies and won't, won't start. So. We're gonna move that truck over here to the uh, right in front of the garage. I'm gonna back the mega cab up to the gooseneck and um, probably gonna take some, I don't know, I'm gonna try to get creative with some video, I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm doing. Cool, huh? All right, guys, here it is, all shined up. Couldn't be happier. Uh, fully detailed and ceramic coated by Daly's Detailing, Mooresville, Indiana. This thing, the video probably won't do it justice. I posted some pictures of it too. From when he had it in his shop and it looks fantastic. Um, did a whole bunch of paint correction, um, fixed up a whole bunch of nicks and you know had a few spots. Th this, this being the worst one right here. Touched it up with some paint buffed out some scratches that I had in it and uh yeah it's got a, if you're familiar with g-tech um coatings that's what this has on it he is an authorized uh applier I guess of that uh product uh comes with a warranty and everything so turned out pretty awesome I'm extremely excited it's super glossy um and on top of that we got some firewire led safety lighting installed on this thing there's a strip on the pillars there on the windshield i got some in the grill okay and i'm gonna take some video and pictures of it in the night it's got one across the back and finally one under the tailgate um the ones on the back are orange or amber and white and the ones on the front are all solid white and they strobe basically they alternate back and forth 
not really necessary, but hey, Firewire is an awesome company. They uh, sponsor me in my racing adventures, so why not have their product on my vehicle? And yeah, I haven't really done any videos on this. So this this is the tow rig setup for racing 2023 and, and forward until something changes. Uh, 2023 Diamond C. Actually, I think it might be a 22 model. I'm not sure. I got it back in Thanksgiving, so it might be a 22 model. F-Max 207. Um, pretty sure. Let's see. You can read that and see the details. It's their lighter weight uh, gooseneck. Went with a lighter weight gooseneck uh, just simply because I'm not going to be hauling anything crazy with this thing. Um, no need for, I, you know, I really wanted to get the hydraulic dovetail. And, uh, you know, I was looking at the F-Max 208, which I think is like a somewhere the 19 or 20,000 pound GVW range or something like that. I'm not sure. You can look it up. You know, that was pretty much the money that I wanted to spend. I was going to get that with the uh, Mega Ramps. And then instead, I opted to get the next size down trailer as far as weight rating goes and get the uh hydraulic dove and here is the pump and all the goodies in there um it is like uh, i do have a wireless button too that operates it it's pretty sweet um it's got a charger in there too to charge the battery standard stuff if you've had a hydraulic gooseneck of any kind of hydraulic trailer you understand this stuff um, but it's super cool. I'm really excited to use it. Uh, I hauled my razor with it once right before it got cold in the fall, but other than that, it hasn't been used. So we're going to be using this thing next weekend, Friday, Saturday. There is a, uh, um, ET bracket racing event first of the year, the first event of the year, um, uh, March 31st, April 1st, April 2nd, um, at Lucas oil raceway park, IRP, um, I think it's mainly a gasser event but they they have several classes that my truck should fit in um gonna run it in a quarter mile class as well so that i can double class it and just get more runs in i'm just gonna I'm not gonna even take the eh, i might take the nitrous i don't know but i'm really just gonna try to chop down on that 770 i really i want to be competitive this year really bad so yeah this thing is a 30 footer hydraulic dove i uh they come winch ready I did not have it, or I did not order it with a winch, but I ordered a winch after the fact. Just a Badland Apex 12,000 pounder. Really nice. And uh, got everything wired in here. I had a, actually had a spare Group 27 battery. Battery charger. Mount everything in here pretty nicely. It's got a really nice heavy duty on off switch. Charger right here for the battery. Uh, the wire to hook up the switch switch has a little magnet on it so you can just sit right there um, it is wireless capable um, so you, you can either use the wire or not pretty nice one thing i like about these diamond c's instead of having the spare tire up here which really isn't that big of a deal but sometimes you know on the heavier trailers they have he much heavier duty uh, wheels and tires and they weigh quite a lot but instead they mount them up under here just like a, a pickup truck so that's pretty cool um this thing has oh it's got the amber lights all the way down the side i opted for that yeah nothing too crazy but i'm really proud of it can't wait to use it my local diamond c um dealer spencer indiana spencer trailer sales helped me order this they were extremely helpful so yeah tow rig can't wait to put it to work got some more modifications we're going to do to this truck um here soon i gonna try before rudy's april 21st gonna try to get a fleece power flow lift pump installed in it gonna also try to install some gnr um, fuel filter uh, kit on it um, and uh, fuel bowl delete for on the side of the engine also have a grid delete gdp intake manifold there's the gnr filter kit fleece power flow also, we have a oh, um, DNJ valve cover um, and a couple other parts too. So, I'm gonna try to spice up the Mega Cab too. I realize this video is all talk, and I apologize for that. I'm probably not gonna win any subscribers with this one, but um, I wanted to document everything that I was doing on this uh, with all this truck stuff. So, this is part of it. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about here before the end of this video. 
if you know me, if you're a friend of mine, you know that I love lights. And uh, maybe you're not into this kind of thing. Maybe you are. Um, that truck does have, you know, like we just went over, the safety lighting I got on it. It's got Firewire LED headlights and fogs, of course. Um, and uh, it's got rock lights, two, set, or two lights in each wheel well. Um, just white. I'm not really into the RGB stuff, the green and red and all that crap. So the one other thing I wanted to do, I know people have done it. Um, if you watch Greg A, he's done it. And I think it's really cool lighting up the trailer with uh, rock lights to match the truck. So you can see the theme here, the silver and, and everything. I'm really trying to make this rig look pretty sweet. Of course, Firewire hooking me up with, um, I got four sets of their extreme white rock lights. Um, these are awesome, super bright. And uh, I'm actually today gonna try to just lay them out and see how they need to be spaced because I want them evenly spaced throughout the bottom of this thing. Um, we're looking at eight per side, I think. These things are awesome, extremely bright, all aluminum. Never had a problem with any of their LEDs. If you ever do, they replace them. I'm gonna lay these out today, probably. I won't really probably feel that and just kind of see, see what that is. And then either, I don't know if I'll be trying to install them or I'll probably take the trailer over to Firewire Shop and have his guy wire them in. And um, yeah, that'll be pretty sweet. That's gonna do it for this video. Um, just kind of wanted to show not a whole lot's been going on you know it's been cold for like three weeks it's been really crappy and rainy and cold here in indiana i haven't done anything really um you know everything i do is done outside so next video is probably going to be button them just button up some random stuff on this and uh here in four days five days we're going to be at the track finally making some passes i'll probably be solo on that so i'll be videoing as much as i can but i'm going to be focused on trying to run this thing and yeah, it should be fun. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please like the video. That'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, thanks.